swag of a prize fighter. Uh-huh. The antithesis uh-huh. of a firefighter. Arsonist, I'm a fire rider. Damn. Instant flame like a fire lighter. So special with shows, I live out my flows. Can't walk in my shoes, can't purchase my clothes. Ice in my veins, but I never froze. Picture perfect, but I never pose. As a juvenile, I know I bounce back. Uh-huh. Got rated, had a plan uh-huh. to get my ounce back. Right. UC's that's, that's bait, right. that's a mouse trap. Let me to the right person to pounce at. Sure. They selling dreams, I'm pulling receipts. Full force, we can't be beat. Got a dirty mouth, but the flow's so neat. Keep your two cents, talk is cheap. The next topic we're going to discuss on Boxing Bros is Joe Joyce exercises his rematch clause against Zhang. We're going to take a look at Mike Coppinger's report, and then we'll discuss how we feel about the rematch. So uh, Mike Coppinger tweets, Zhang and Joe Joyce will meet in a heavyweight rematch September 2nd in London, sources told ESPN. Last month, Joyce exercised his contractual right to a return bout after Zhang scored a major upset in April, a six-round TKO. So that's what Mike Coppers is reporting, and he has an article on ESPN that you can check out for more details. I'm going to turn it over to you, G. What's your reaction to Joyce exercising a rematch? How do you feel about the rematch? Joyce just better kill him. Metaphor. <laughs> metaphorically speaking, you know, no, no actual death. Artistic but, expression, right? Yeah, but but violate this dude, man. Like Zang did you dirty, so you gotta return in kind, you know. So I don't know. Definitely, I'm 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 looking forward to this rematch. I'm shocked Zang agreed to have it in the UK. If I was Zang, man, I'll put it on for China, yo. I'd be like, nah, you want this rematch. You coming to my homeland, you know. But nonetheless, man, they're doing it, you know. So I just hope Joyce, man, just has a game plan this time. Stop using your face, <laughs> you know, as, as as you know your defense. You know, how about stop moving your move your head? You know what I mean? Like move your feet. You know, like block, do other things. Don't block with your face, like. That got to stop, man. So I'm hoping now he, he took this uh, training camp real serious because you know, he needs his W, man. At this age, you know, he shouldn't be taking L's to no Zang. So definitely run this back, take out Zang, and then hopefully then you can get a, a title shot with one of the big boys. All right, TBE. Yeah, I hear you, G. This was surprising. Cause you know, you build up Joe Joyce to this like the 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 juggernaut, like he's he's unstoppable. He's like a lean, mean fighting machine. But I don't see what Joe Joyce can do that way. He could change differently against Zane to win. So you want to make a bet? You want to make a bet? You want to make a bet? What you what you what we talking? It's a hundred dollar bet. What's up? I got Zane. All right, word. I got Joyce. dollars, oh, my man. I don't see what Joe Joyce could do to beat Zane. Zane got his numbers. Zane knows he knows how to time him. It's not like Joe Joyce is gonna get any faster. It's not like he's gonna. He's, he's working a speed bag head. right now. He's on a speed bag right now. <laughs> he can move his head. What if he just yeah, had a? It's bad not move. like Zane is not gonna be can't can't target him. Come on now, like I don't know, Joe Joyce. You got exposed and. I like you, but everything I see about you that I say hi as fighters losing to this man who's so slow, it's true. Like, it came true when Zane beat you. Like, he was timing you. He was getting out the way your punches, and he was eating a lot of your punches. So, if anything, the only way Joe Joyce could beat Zane is if he's the harder hitter that night. He comes in there and just lands the slowest, hardest punches ever. That's it. Make Zang, make Zang's. Uh, I ain't even gonna say what I was gonna say, but yeah, I don't know. I don't see. I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm excited for the rematch. I just put a hundred on it. So if Zang, if Joe Judge can beat Zang, I'll be surprised. But I don't see how he could do it again. I don't see how he could um beat Zang. I just don't. I don't see it. I don't see it. Especially if it's it's in September. Y'all just fought. So the Scottish was still there. So Zane, your face ain't healed up all the way. It ain't hundred percent. So you get you leave with your face. You might have the same 
the same outcome as last time. So that's all. Ned makes another bet. I trill dollar bill. Don't do it. Please don't do it. <laughs> <laughs> nah, honestly, on some real stuff, man. I really think the homie got his number. I Hello, dollar bill. I just think that he got his number. That's how I feel. I just feel like Zen got Joyce's number. That's all. You said some stuff in between, but you kind of uh, froze. So oh, I'm sorry. That, I, I apologize. Was, once again, no, I apologize. Once again, um, I like to say I think that uh, Zayn got Joe Joyce's number. You know, Joe Joyce is a warrior. He's a talented fighter. And it be like that sometimes. You could be running through everybody. It just be that one guy that got your number. I remember Sugar Shane Mosley was getting in with everybody. But when he ran into Vernon Forrest, Vernon Forrest just had his number. It be like that sometimes. You know what I'm saying? I just think Zane got his number. That's all. All right. Look, I'm glad he exercised the rematch clause because, quite frankly, he's too old to try to start again. He was in position to be mandatory challenger for the title. And if his dream is to become heavyweight champion, I think his best bet is to go back in there with Zane and try to get it back. And I do think there are certain things he can do. Uh, he can move his head more. Yes, absolutely. But I think he needs to do something he's not accustomed to doing. He needs to wait a little bit before he gets active because Zang is so much faster than him. He needs to let Zang work early. And that may that may require him giving up the first two or three rounds. But he needs to have Zang opening up, throwing punches, and he needs to let Zhang tire out because Zhang fades later on in fights. And even in the fight with Joe Joyce, the fight was stopped because of a cut. So it's a six-round TKO because of a cut that was opened up by a punch. But Joyce started doing better in that fight in the later rounds. And I believe if he can survive the early rounds when Zhang is most powerful without getting caught with a big punch, as the fight goes on, I think Joyce could overwhelm him the same way he does all these other fighters. But again, um, you know, Trill said he thinks that Zhang has his number. It's going to be very difficult because Zhang is a very skilled fighter and Joe Joyce doesn't have elite level speed or elite level defense to keep Zhang off of him. And so the question is really going to become, I think, again, will, Zo will Joyce face hold up enough? For Zhang to get tired, for Joyce to take advantage of Zhang the way he does all the other opponents after they get tired. Because as we said on Boxing Bros before, you slow down with Joe Joyce and his guillotine style. But again, it's typically the opponent gets tired. The opponent slows down to a level and a pace where Joe Joyce can take over the fight. But when it comes to, to Zhang... Joyce is going to have to survive to even get to that point where Zhang gets tired. And so I think that's where the issue is going to come in. So it'll be interesting to see. I'm I'm excited for the rematch. Uh, Ned and G just put a hundred on it. Turbo Zhang versus Dial-Up. <laughs> um, G, G has a hundred on Joe Joyce and Ned has a hundred on Zhang. So, you know, G's rolling with <laughs> the fighter who lost the first fight, but it is G23. So it is what it is. Let us know how you feel in the comment section. Please like and subscribe. Check us out on Instagram and Twitter. And please check out our podcast on all major streaming services. You know you rock with. It's the Boxing Bros. <laughs>